In 1911, Ray Haroon won the first Indianapolis 500 going 75 miles per hour. A century later, the speeds are 200% faster, which speeds at over 227 miles per hour. The first race cars looked like the passenger cars on the city streets at the time. Their engines were under the hood in front of the driver, and a riding mechanic rode in the second seat helping the driver direct traffic during the race. The cars look similar for the next 25 years. When Wilbur Shaw won the 1937 Indy 500, he was the last driver to win with a riding mechanic along for the ride. In the 1950s, the massive roadsters were offset with the engine on the left side and the driver's cockpit on the right. The first big change in years came in the early 1960s when the rear engine car came to the speedway. The cars were lower to the ground, had better handling, and were a lot faster. Jim Clark's 1964 full speed was seven miles an hour quicker than the year before, ushering in the next era of Indy cars. In the 1970s, the cars added wings and side pods. The cars could now go faster down the straightaway and the drivers didn't have to slow down in the corners. The speeds continued to climb because of the aerodynamic changes. In 1972, Bobby Unser had the top speed at over 195 miles an hour, over 25 miles an hour quicker than his younger brother had run just two years earlier. In 1979, the cars began yet another evolution called ground effects. These cars develop aerodynamic downforce, which pushed the cars down onto the track, giving them more grip and better handling over the wings and exterior, a practice that's still used today in Indy cars. Today's Indy cars have so much downforce that they could actually race on the ceiling if you could get them up there. In 1996, when turbocharged engines were still allowed, Ari Leyendijk set the record for the fastest speed in Indy history. And it's a new track record. The basic layout remained the same for the next 30 years until 2012 when the new Indy car was introduced. Using a Venn diagram, let's see how the old car is different than the 2012 Indy car. The new car is longer, wider, taller, but weighs less than the old car. The fuel cell is smaller and the engine is turbocharged and weighs less. Let's now look at how the two cars are the same. They both have a six-speed gearbox and race on the same racing tires. They've been racing at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for over 100 years. The cars have looked different through the years, but as the speeds increased, safety has improved too. 